Hello everyone, this is Zephyr here, and welcome back to Monster Hunter World Iceborne on PC. The new free title update has been released, so we have new content that we will be taking on today. I am excited and also fearful for what that means. It also looks like we have some people to talk to right off the bat. Uh, let's see how many there are. Um, we'll also be changing our equipment here in a moment. Oh, it's just the two of them. All right, we're going to wait for the purple one because I know that'll start with the new content is. Let's see what the Elder Melder has to say. Got some good news. Hello there, Hunter. The scholars from Astera and Celiana have put their beds together to come up with something. We can now use our melding techniques to create analyzed special tracks from materials from the gu from materials from the guiding lands. We're ready whenever you want to give it a shot. What? Uh, we've read that. Okay, so... Guiding Alchemy is now available at the Elder Melder. You can now create analyzed special tracks by melding materials obtained from the Guiding Lands. However, you can only create them for monsters you've unlocked by obtaining certain special materials from them in the Guiding Lands. Talk to the Handler in either of the Guiding Lands base camps in order to use the special analyzed tracks you've created. Oh, so that's cool. Alright, so we knew about that from the Developer Diary. Um, we can now create lures, uh, which is amazing. Um... But you can only create lures for monsters that you fought, so, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna be tough if we haven't fought them, so we'll have to find some of them. One moment, one of my cats is misbehaving and I have to deal with that. back now. Hopefully he'll behave moving forward. I highly doubt it. I don't know why he's such a troublemaker. Uh, but you can see here all the monsters that we've fought and found before because that's the only ones we can make lures for. So this is cool because uh, you don't have to worry about finding the right tracks in the Guiding Lands to find monsters you want anymore. Obviously you'll still get lures that way, but this just gives you another way to get lures that you actually want instead of waiting around for the monster you want to show up or for you to actually get the right lure. So that's pretty freaking cool. Uh, very happy about that. So let's go ahead and we'll talk to uh, the third fleet, third fleet master. That's what they call her. So we'll talk to her and learn about what we're about to deal with. Please, give me a moment. Well, that sounds bad right off the bat. I got here as fast as I could. I need time to collect myself. <sighs> yes, I'm fine now. The scouts, they've spotted something nefarious within the secluded valley. The new commander must be alerted, but I'm not myself right now. I'm out of breath. <sighs> Deep breaths. <sighs> it's freezing. <sighs> All right, come. We must hold council immediately. That you've warmed up and caught your breath. Do you want to tell us what's happening? It is you that might need to catch your breath. I bring alarming news. Our scouts in the secluded valley caught sight of something. An Alatreon. Oh god. This is gonna be so bad. Also, I love that... I mentioned this in the developer diary video. That is not how I've been pronouncing that name for all these years. So it's kind of funny that I'm now gonna have to try and force myself to call it Alatreon instead of Alatreon. It's not that much of a difference, but it's big enough. What? Alatreon. First time I'm hearing this name. What are we dealing with here? Right, so the it's the first time he's heard the name because he's from the New World. He was born here. So he doesn't know about some of the Old World monsters. Man, is he in for a surprise. To be honest, I'm not sure. Oh, come on, you're all worthless. I know. name causes panic Th that part's true no surprise no records of Alatreon have survived but I fought them just you know in the old world Alatreon an elder known as the blazing black dragon 
What we know is what was witnessed in the place known as the Sacred Land. Yeah, I guess that's right. It was called the Sacred Land. I, for a moment there, I thought it was Ingle Isle, but that's right. He had his own special spot called the Sacred Land. It's a monster that has complete control of the full force of nature. And that's a change, because he used to be called elementally unstable. Now he's a master of all the elements, meaning they made him more dangerous. The full force of nature. You mean the elements? Being able to control all of the elements seems completely nuts. Yeah. Do we have anything else to go on? Nothing. What? No other records? No, there really is nothing else. There were a few people who refused to accept that something like Alatreon could exist in the world. Oh, I just noticed they messed up the subtitle. They flipped around could and Alatreon. Oh well, mistakes happen. I'm sure they'll patch it at some point. And they went and burned the few records we had of the monster. How awful is that? They're actually giving us lore that people literally were so afraid of it and wanted to pretend it didn't exist, so they burnt all the records. That's, that's just awful. They burned them? Yeah, see, exactly what she said. Why would they do that? Who knows? But it happened a long time ago. Not, not that long ago. But don't lose hope. It's not too late. We're the research commission. Just say the word and we'll get started on making new records. Please tell me you won't toss them into the fire behind you as soon as you've made them. We owe it to the world to make it so. Let's get started as soon as we can. Okay, so there's a little flaw in their logic here. People destroyed them before because they feared it. What makes you think if we make the records again, they're not going to do the same thing again? The fear doesn't just go away. Thanks. Hunter, take the quest and head out. Triple check your gear before you depart. If the legends are true, this symbol of destruction is going to put up a hell of a fight. Don't go in alone. Make sure you assemble a team. Oh crap. Is this going to be like a siege? So this is what everyone was afraid of, is that this was not going to be solo scaled, and that this thing's going to be almost impossible to fight solo. And this right here, the fact that they put it in red is basically telling you, multiplayer only, if you don't go multiplayer, you go dead dead. Our handlers and scholars will split up. We'll have a group out there providing support while the rest will be on standby at base. Those on standby will get started on recording all reports about the beast as soon as they come in. I think that should cover things. Fascinating. I wonder how that monster can control all of the elements. What makes that possible? Oh, I cannot stop shivering with curiosity. <laughs> we'll know soon enough, I hope. All right, hunters. Fight hard, stay smart, and get back home safely. Oh, crap. Alright. Investigate Elytrion in the Secluded Valley. Elytrion has been discovered in the Secluded Valley. Gather your friends, god dang it, and take on the special assignment Blazing Black Twilight and investigate. In Iceborne, speak to characters with the purple. Yeah, we know about that. Most of our world special assignments is the blue exclamations. Fine. Is that it? Is that all you're going to tell me? Well, we're going to try it solo, and if it just goes unbelievably terrible where we have to do multiplayer, I'll send up an SOS or something. So, I did make a set that I'm hoping will help with this. I put a question mark on the name because I don't know if this will do anything. But we'll switch over. So, I'm going with the Safi Jiva set. Mainly because, from what the developer diary said, we need to do lots of elemental damage. Which, uh, let me pose so we can actually see our true stats. Alright. So, equipment info. Alright, so, with the armor, with this armor and the weapon drawn, we're at 85% affinity and 430 element. 
Now, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing the Worm Slayer charm. It's because it gives us Elder Seal boost and Dragon Attack level 1. Um, it made more sense than wasting a level 4 slot from the Safi armor on just the Elder Seal boost. Um, yeah, we'll lose Handicraft, but I think it's worth it because I'm hoping that Dragon Element and Elder Seal are important for this fight. We'll see. The stuff they told us in the developer diary, I could be completely wrong, but I have a feeling this will be helpful. But not if it's multiplayer scaled. If it's multiplayer scaled, this might not be that great because Elder Seal's never been great multiplayer. Especially if I'm the only one using high Elder Seal. Um, but otherwise, uh, I built it out, so obviously we've got Safi Jeeva Seal. I'm a bit worried because we'll be taking damage. Uh, that could be problematic, but um, hopefully we can still even it out. Critical I-7, of course. I... Had it at 6 and had a different loadout, but that 10% bump from 6 to 7 is too important. Uh, evade Window 4. We actually have Evade Window 5 when we're wearing our Dragonproof Mantle. Um, I thought that would be pretty useful. 4 is just good. It'll hopefully allow us to evade attacks and not die. Health Boost Level 3. Uh, dragon Attack Level 3, though, we'll have Dragon Attack Level 4 when we have the Dragonproof Mantle on. Plus, the Dragonproof Mantle also gives us an extra bump to Dragon Damage, so that's nice. Critical boost, just to go with our affinity. Uh, part breaker, because previous uh, iterations of Elytraeon breaking the horns were extremely important, but they were very hard to break, so this will hopefully help with that. Blight resistance just comes on the armor. I have no reason to have it, it's just there. Uh, hopefully it'll come in handy. Tool specialist to get our uh, temporal and dragonproof mantles back up faster. Fortify, because there's no reason not to. This is honestly one of the best things to have, because if you faint, you just come back stronger. The Elder Seal boost, which boosts us from medium to high Elder Seal. And then Mind's Eye, because we don't have Handicraft. I want to make sure that when I'm at White Sharpness, I don't bounce. Um, let me just make sure of one other thing. This has... Okay, it does have Health Regen on it. Alright, perfect. So, the other thing I want to do... We need to have our Elder Dragon layout, load, uh, layout, load out. So switch to that. And then, I'm actually going to bring both cool drinks and hot drinks because I have a feeling I'm going to need both of them. I also have a feeling this is going to go terribly. Oh, I also want to grab my login bonus because we should be getting a decoration. Yay! Attack plus! Woohoo! My first one. Got it? Just given to me. <laughs> I tried to get one. I kept running the um, uh, Wrath, of the Th Wrath of Thunder Descends or whatever the name of the quest is with that uh, with the Zenogre that uh, gives lots of decorations and I was really hoping that I would get a, um, a an attack plus or another expert plus. I didn't. I tried. It didn't work out. So we're going to go straight uh, elemental resistance here. It to me makes the most sense. Um, I, I really am afraid that this is not going to be possible solo. This could be horrifying kind of stinks, but we'll give it a shot. We'll see what happens. You never know. Just because they say you have to use a group doesn't mean that's absolutely true. We'll, we'll see once we get out there. We'll just watch this because we don't watch it very often. I very, very rarely go to the Gathering Hub. That's the other reason that I think they're going to force us to be multiplayer is because they don't very often force you into the Gathering Hub except for when it's a siege. All right. Hey, you. <sighs> oh, Safi Jeeva's up too. <laughs> All right. Master rank, special assignment. Blazing Black Twilight. Oh, God. Uh, Slay and Alatreon, the client's the third fleet master. Not much is known of Alatreon, other than the destruction it's capable of it's capable of threatens all of humanity, but this is a chance for the commission to write history, no? I don't know. I'm gonna leave it at four just in case we end up uh, deciding to send up an SOS. Okay, Jeez. all right, another tutorial. Careful preparation is required for any hunter hoping to slay Alatreon. Here are some tips for how to get ready. Use elemental attacks. Told you, that's why I planned. Alatreon has the power to unleash devastating attacks that can one-shot hunters. You can weaken the strength of these attacks by using elemental weapons on Alatreon. You cannot weaken its attacks with non-elemental weapons or while you're afflicted with Dragon Blight. Well, duh, because that gets rid of your element. 
No turning back. Farcasters cannot be used. Son of a... In the... Farcasters cannot be used in the lowest level of the secluded valley, so be sure you have all the items you need before you depart. Why? Why did they do this? That was the one thing people were hoping they could do, is if things get bad and you couldn't weaken him, throw a Farcaster to get away. And they're just like, nah. <laughs> no Monster Hunter game before this was just like, no Farcasters ever. The whole point of the Farcaster was it was your last ditch survival. Uh, they're just like, yeah, we're getting rid of it. Oh, dear lord. Okay, fine. Oh, this is gonna go terribly. I really hope that it is single-player scaled. I really do. I, I'm gonna keep the Farcaster just in case I need it. But crap, man. Oh. Here we go. YOLO. I don't even get a camp. Yeah, you're gonna give me a camp. Oh god, everyone who could must be hiding some incredible power. If that power isn't contained, it could be the end of us all. Everyone who complained this game wasn't hard enough. Yeah, 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 I'm trying, alright? Alright, he's not super protected there. Oh god, what what is this crap? You keep an eye on those horns. You should be able to figure out which elements are affected. I'm just using dragon, alright? What what is this crap? Oh! Oh, well, there goes my health. Goodbye, health. Not like I wanted you or anything. Oh god, why are you such a dick? Right off the bat, so much damage. Oh, Jesus. Alright, uh, step one. Temporal mantle up the butt. Who? Help me out, please. Oh my god. Oh, and his weakness areas changed, didn't they? That's not good. Oh, I see now. It's leaving crevices that I need to dodge. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. I don't even know how to go for the face because he's constantly got his head up high. Uh-uh. Sir, are a dick. Oh, Jesus. Even hit the tail! Oh god! 
Oh, this is just horrifying in so many ways. Where were... Yes, they... Oh, okay. Goodbye, Temporal. It's not like I needed you. Oh my god. Not knowing his attack patterns is rough. Oh, I remember that move from Tribe. Oh, uh, what is this? What is this? What is this? So this stinks, because I don't think this set has free meal on it, so uh, we're going to burn through max potions pretty quick. Good. Let it shift. Ow. Yep. That was the way it was previously, too. I mean, I'd love to, but it's not as easy as just, like, the horn's dead. Like, they're tough. He's a dick. Oh, God, no. Uh, evade. Evade. Help me out. Aha! Foresight slash for the win. Ow. That one did not foresight slash. Oh, I don't know his moves. I haven't fought you in a long time, and you're a dickbag, and you're different. I don't know what that was either. But it was dickish, I bet. God dang. He's tough when he's in the air because... Oh, God. Oh, there's the water that everyone was talking about because he didn't used to have water attacks. Oh, God! Ow. Okay, I'm learning, sort of. My dragon element mantle wore off, though. That sucks. Can you, can you just stop for half a second? He does not take a break. Ugh! Shoot, that's gonna go badly for me. I think you've got dragon blight. I did, but it's it's gone now. I bring null berries for a reason. Alright, we gotta get back in there. We're not being aggressive enough because he's a dick bag. Breaking those horns is going to be tough if I can't get him to fall over. Ow. Give me Dragon Blade again. Ow, he really switches between elements fast. Ow. Let those explode before I do anything. Yeah, I'm going to burn through these max potions really fast at this rate. He does a lot of damage. I would assume, though, if I faint, I'll get a camp and can maybe uh, restock if I have to. Shoot! Oh, thank goodness for evasion. Breaking those horns is going to be tough. I don't get any openings to attack the face. Take back. Thank you, Temporal. I would love to be able to, like, knock him over for even half a second. Oh, this is that. Wow. Wow. I don't know how to deal with that at all. So Temporal doesn't dodge it. Yeah, this might be absolutely impossible solo. I mean, we were pretty aggressive and we still weren't able to... 
do anything, but it might be you have to attack the head only. Oof. This could be a, uh, a situation where we got a SOS. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna still give it an effort, my best shot, but uh, I have very low hopes for it. Going for the head is just leaving yourself open to get hit by everything he does. But he does have some openings, it looks like. And he does take a lot of damage to the head. Oof. No, no, no. Ah! far away! Oh! He did twice. And another one. Ow. Okay. Ah! I tried to roll. Dang it. Yeah, okay. Well, that went horribly. I tried to, uh... I tried to roll... away and did not do it correctly, and it just did not go well. Um, yeah, I think this is gonna be a uh, complete failure. <laughs> this is tough. Yeah, I think we're screwed because if he does that super attack again, um, we have no. We're, that, that'll just be the end. Now he's freezing the top again. So it seems like. Because I'm doing lots of elemental damage, but it seems like it's only. Uh, when you hit the horns, maybe, that weakens him. And I still worry that he's not single player scale. Oof. out of range. Not so much. Yeah, 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 I know. I didn't realize that was gonna hurt me. This is the only time you can break its horns. Disrupt its control over the elements. This is the only time? How do you know that? Well, that's just straight BS right there. So stun's gonna be important to uh, put on my set too, I think. Wasted my temporal. I 
didn't work the way I wanted it to. I was hoping to send him out of the air, but not so much. What? I broke his horn already? Well, that's good, I guess. Oh. Oh, I dodged it. Yay. Yay me. Oh, finally? Okay, so going after the horns is absolutely what you have to do. It was the circle. It was not a circle. Now he's just playing Teostra there. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nope. Okay. Wow. I don't know how to deal with that. We were doing tons of elemental damage. Hmm. Well, that sucks. Okay. Wow. We got a Sky Swear, at least, I guess. Very rare Elytreon material. These convoluted horns are the finest specimen known to exist. Well, that stinks. But I kind of expected it to happen. Um, we'll try one more time solo. Uh, if that doesn't work out, we'll use an SOS. Now that we know that the horns are absolutely what we have to be aiming for, uh, we'll be going for that. Oh, man. That is not how I wanted that to go, but... Dear Lord. Well, they finally added a monster that people should be able to be like, Oh, this is actually hard. it again. Ooh, hi. Wait, what am I doing? Just in case I decide to send one. back down into the depths.
All right. Alatreya must be hiding some incredible power. No oh, crap. If that power isn't contained, it could be the end of us all. Just let me buff. You know, the worst part is it's a little late to tell since we can't bar cast her. Oh! I don't care about that. I just want to break them. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Oh. Okay. Oh, dick bag. No, 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 I did that wrong. Uh. Oh. Shoot. Where are rocks? So I can try and actually do, you know, some flush claw crap this time. That hits me every time. Clutch Claw, could you, you be useful for once? There we go. Q. Potions, I forgot to refill. Shoot. on the ground so I can fight you. Ah! I would love for it to come down so I can actually, you know, attack it. Places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot. The horns are broken. It doesn't look like you can shift the ice axe in place for now. Yeah, for now. Ow. I think he's upset. Ow. 
That still hit me? Wow, it's got range. Damage! Ah! Crap. Okay. Let's actually remember to restock our items, because we were actually having a good run, and then I realized I have, like, no potions or anything on me. I don't think we actually need the hot or cool drinks, as far as I can tell. So I'm not going to worry about those. realize we need our ancient potion again so hang on we'll go back for a second I just hope he doesn't immediately use that stupid shift thing that he was doing because that's the problem is that'll be an instant faint which means that we'll be down to one more which would be bad Yep, he immediately did it. Are you freaking kidding me? <sighs> That's such garbage. I don't I don't like that mechanic at all. I freaking I just went press Alatreon's power using elemental weapons. So this this may absolutely be absolutely impossible in single player. Because, as far as I can tell, I'm, do I'm doing decent damage. I'm doing the, uh, I'm breaking the horns and stuff, but he still powers up that stupid attack and just one-shots you. So I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do, other than have other people with me. And that kind of sucks, because I, I don't like forced multiplayer. I prefer to hunt solo, and it, it looks like we have to do multiplayer. We'll try a little longer. We'll try and break that other horn. That's cool. I mean, I used Foresight Slash, but I didn't have any freaking spirit power, because I always forget that they changed that. Are, are you kidding that I missed all those hits? Well, this is just bad. Come on. Oof, we almost fainted again. Honestly, I'm seeing how he wouldn't be too bad to keep damaging with a group because when he's targeting someone else, you can keep hitting him. But the problem is when you're solo, he's just constantly attacking just you. Rage anymore, so let's try and get him to a wall and maybe slam him into it, but he's being a dick. Wow! He completely slaughtered my temporal mantle in like that half a second. Okay, well, that was pointless and sucks. This is going horribly right now. So, my goal was to smash him into a wall, and he immediately got rid of my temple mantle with his stupid thunder. So, I, I need him to... I need him to stop for like half a second so I can do anything to him, but now he's flying, so I can't directly hit him. Crap. I 
I'm truly confused at how I'm supposed to do some of this stuff. Oh, come on. It's mid-animation, and I'm stunned. Uh, I think that's the faint. Well, it gave me a second to get away, I guess, so that's nice. This is, like, beyond difficult. He's constant aggression. And on top of that, he, like, apparently the claw attack won't knock him around. What? Ah. Oh, Jesus. Great, but he can still do a super attack, can he? Oh, dang it. So I broke both I broke both horns, so that's at least good. But I don't think it's gonna stop his super attack. And if it doesn't son of a If it doesn't, then there's nothing I can I can do solo. I have to be online. And that sucks. But at least it looks like the horns are at least feasible to be broken. This is frustrating, because I can't get in to attack him. It wants me to do all this elemental damage, but every time I try and attack... He just hits me with another attack. Like, he just constantly... Like, look at that! Yep, there it is. So that's the that's the loss. That doesn't matter if your healing items are ready. Yeah, I can't even use healing items fast enough. All right, everyone. My current strategy is clearly not working. Uh, it's honestly not very often that I hit the faint cap on a quest and uh, have to make a tactical retreat. Uh, Elytrion's truly proving to be a major challenge. Uh, I don't really like failing quests. Um, I don't like having to retreat and all that. But honestly, uh, even the best at anything will fail sometimes. So it's really not that big of a deal. And it does prove that they've finally given us a real challenge in the game. Uh, and I do like a good challenge and it's gonna feel even better when we do overcome it. So, you know, as long as we're alive, we can always improve and get better, and so that's what we're going to do. So I've changed up my strategy, and we're going to see if this will work better. Um, they basically pushed element, pushed element, pushed element. They kept saying, you know, use elements, use elements, use elements. I was using element, but clearly not enough. And I had built a set to try and kind of get a good amount of element, but I was using a weapon that didn't really have a ton of element at base. So I've made a change. We now have a weapon that has massive amount of element at base, and then on top of that, with our armor set, uh, we're going to be at even more. So, uh, just looking at our stats here, so I've switched over to the Kiar Sword Stream, which is an ice longsword. Uh, I wanted to stick to Dragon, but uh, unfortunately, the so the Safi Dragon weapon obviously doesn't have a lot of element, so that's that's not working out. The Stygian Gula has a bit more element, but it still doesn't have a lot. And the problem is I wanted to have critical element. So that one was out too. And then I looked at the uh, Taroth Sword Decay, or Kiar Sword Decay, I'm sorry, Kiar Sword Decay. And it doesn't really have a lot of sharpness, which is kind of a problem. And all I could think is, uh, I don't wanna be wasting time trying to find an opening to sharpen the weapon to get it back to white. Uh, on top of that, I also didn't have the materials to get the dragon attack. I think it's called Worm's Bane. No, Worm's Bane might have been the one that had the Elder Seal boost on it. Whatever. The the, the charm that gives the dragon attack skill, I didn't have the um, materials to actually get it all the way up to um, its max level. So that doesn't really work out either. 
whereas I was able to get the Ice Charm and the Water Charm up to max. The reason we're starting with an Ice Longsword is because the Water Longsword has the same sharpness problem that the Dragon one does, whereas the Ice Longsword has a good chunk of white in it. It should work out. Um, the best... The best longsword we could probably use potentially would be the Kiar Sword Fire, but I wasn't able to get the charm for fire up to max. Uh, but that one has extra affinity on it, which would let us hit 100%, and I think it also has higher raw. Like, it's ridiculous how good Kiar Sword Fire is. Um, but, you know, ice should probably be fine. It's an element, so much like fire, it will be effective in two out of the three forms. So. Uh, we're going to try this. We're going to see how it goes. Hopefully it works out. Um, I did also decide to add flash pods to our item loadout just to see if we can knock it out of the air. Uh, the biggest problem is when it's in the air, it's really hard to hit and continually get damage on it. And um, the clutch claw is kind of trash because Elatreon or Elatreon doesn't stop moving. Uh, so it might be easier to just flash it out of the air to get it back onto the ground. I don't know if it'll actually work, but we're going to give it a shot. Uh, is there anything else I want to bring? I don't think so. Uh, our other armor is otherwise unchanged, so the difference is um, we're using the Frost Charm 5 instead of the, I think it was Worm's Bane that gave Dragon Attack and Elder Seal. Not only was the element clearly not high enough, I don't think Elder Seal actually does anything uh, against Alatreon, so we don't really need the boost. Uh, I'd rather just get as much element as possible. So we added the Frost Charm 5. I also put one uh, Ice Attack decoration on the weapon to get us up to the max of 6. So we get a nice 20% boost and then an extra 100 on top of that. And as you can see, with the Safi Jiva armor, we hit 900 element. Um, that's almost double what we were getting with um, the uh, Safi Dragon weapon. Uh, on top of that, since we have crit element and we have 95% affinity, pretty much every attack will be an extra 20% element damage on top of our already high amount. So if this isn't enough to cause the uh, lowering of damage on uh, that Eschaton Judgment or whatever it's called, I, I don't know that it's possible to get enough. Because uh, I don't know how we could get our element any higher other than switching to Silver Soul and getting true critical element, but then we're losing a massive amount of affinity, so yeah, I don't I don't know that it's possible. And unfortunately, I cannot get Feline Safeguard because I don't have all of these yet. Uh, I thought about being able to do that too, is take Feline Safeguard, but unfortunately it's not an option for me because I didn't get the rest of these ingredients um, before... Elatreon released, so we'll stick with our elemental resistance. Um, if we do fail some more, which you know might happen, like I said, this is this is a truly difficult uh, monster. But you know, as long as we can keep trying, we're gonna keep trying. You know, we'll we'll retreat, regroup as many times as we have to. We're gonna find a way to win. Um, and maybe we'll get lucky and get feline insurance one of these times. Uh, I don't like using that as a crutch, but you know. This, this quest has something that's very difficult to overcome, and if you can't overcome it on your own, the only way is to kind of grab a, a little bit of a handicap to help you through. I'm hoping we won't need it, though. Maybe this will be enough. You know, they kept saying use element. Well, I don't know how to get much more element than this 900 plus, you know, element crits, so hopefully this will be enough. Got lots of potions, max potions and stuff. We should be good. I am very worried, but, um, you know, let's see what happens. I love that quest is ready right away. All right, here we go. Heading back in.
Alatreo? He must be hiding some incredible power. If that power isn't contained, it could be the end of us all. We think that the Tibetans should be able to shut down Alatreon's powers. So non elemental weapons won't be of much use, huh? Hunter, you got that? <clears throat> the one other thing uh, I didn't mention, I uh, swapped out the Dragon Proof Mantle for the Health Booster since we're not using a uh, Dragon Weapon, we won't really need the Dragon Proof Mantle. Ooh, but you know what I just realized I forgot to do? Was to augment this with Health Regen, so that could be a problem. Not having health regen is going to make this <laughs> very difficult. We'll see what we can do, though. Oh, my aim missing is not going to help either. Oh my god, no! Oh dear lord. Did knock him down. Sweet. You're doing a good job containing oh! Oh, this worked! This totally worked! Oh my god, I got that real early. Okay, we're we're in good shape. This might work. Now it's just surviving with this lack of uh health regen. It's gonna suck. I don't get away. Things happening to it. It's shifting elements. The horns. No way. The horns give us control of the elements. Hurry! Destroy the horns. This is your best chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I need to destroy the horns, but it's not so easy when uh, your health is low and you're getting hit. Oh crap! <laughs> that sucks! Oh god! Oh, that did knock it out. Oh, because it's enraged, right? Oh, I turned. What a dick. Battery's immune now, because I hit him twice. Could be immune. Thank you, Foresight Slash. Oh, crap! Ah, dang it. Perfect. 
because Ice Active is the one that uh, would be a problem for us. Because we're using an ice weapon. Oh! <laughs> that, that was no good. Sharpen, so he needs to give me a moment. Shoot. Oh, good, it missed. Alright, cool. Perfect. Ooh, that's not so good. Alex Crayon's ready a big attack. Keep your healing items ready. I am standing on a health booster. Oh my god, it still didn't do that great. But we survived. We made it. Alright, that's the first one. Shifting elements. Yeah, let him shift. It's fine. Oh, you dickbag. I'm glad it missed, though. Yes! Oh, we did it! Okay. That's that's twice now we've been able to weaken his uh, eschaton judgment. It's just a matter of having our health booster again. I tried to foresight. I hit it late. That sucks. Oh, shoot. He's doing three now, huh? All right. No, no! Ah, I dodged that wrong. I'm gonna have to sharpen again in a moment. Holy crap! Did I just do two for one Escaton Judgment? That's awesome! Oh, God, this, I figured this crap out. It's just survival now. We got this. No, 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 no. You dick bag. Get out of the air. I don't have a means to get him out of the air because he's enraged and I'm out of flash pods. Oh, crap. Still, this is awesome now. Now that we've figured this crap out, it's just, you know, use lots and lots and lots of element, we, we've got this on lock. It's just a matter of being skilled enough to win.
Okay. It sucks that I wasn't able to get the health proc, but I'll take it. This is fine. Oh, God! That was unexpected and bad. Also bad. Oh, God! You are a dick! And he's still in rage, so I still can't get him out of the air. Ugh. Oh god! Yeah, yeah, I know. I got Dragon Blight, that's fine. Uh, he's being a prick! But I've got this. I know I can do this. Oh, I thought he was gonna let me clutch claw. He did not. Oh, I broke both horns. Awesome. Alright, staying out of ice active again. Awesome. Alex Crayon's readying a big attack. Get your healing items ready. Yep, yep. Health boosters up. Let's see how this goes. Should sharp him while I'm at it. All right, we kept up with it easy. Now, I don't know how many more times he can do that, or how much more health he has, but let's uh keep up the hard work here. Ah, oh, it still hit me. Shoot. That's gonna be a problem. Ah! Oh, shoot. It's always a good opening, but I couldn't get in close because he's hit me a couple of times here. He's out of a rage, though, so I want to try and... Clutch Claw. Him. No! That's the problem, is when he does lightning... If you clutch Claw's face, you get hit. Uh, I didn't think that would hit me, so that sucks. Ah! Oh, I'm stunned. This might be a faint, which is okay. Taking one's not gonna end us here. Alright, we're out of max potions, so yeah, we're in, we're in trouble health-wise. Oh, heal. I did it early. Shoot. really to help me if uh, he does that eschaton judgment again. I just have the health booster.
didn't do what I wanted it to do. Oh god! Okay, he's on the ground again. Which is good. I thought I was far enough away. All right, I could have rolled again. That's okay. That's all right. It's all right. We got this. One faint isn't the end of the world. I think I can. I can live with it. Uh, all right, Elder Dragon. And then we took out the far caster and brought in flash pods. Away we go. Ah, I tried to hit Foresight and I just couldn't hit it in time. Oh, he's in ice form. I think. Because we are doing very Yep. Alex Crayon's ready a big attack. Get your healing items ready. It'll be weakened, but it's not going to be weakened a ton. Give ourselves a moment to heal here. Ow! You dick! I was healing. It's gonna be a problem if he doesn't shift again. Crap. Yeah, I can't do anything about my weapon. I can't far caster, so I'm kinda screwed. Stop telling me crap I know. Oh, dang it. I'm trying to use my health booster for as long as I can to keep my health up. I didn't think I made it, and I did. My goodness. I thought that would put me out of the range of it. Uh. Oh, I've got Dragon Blight. Shoot, when did that happen? Not like it matters, because he's in ice form, apparently. Crap, crap. Yep, that's fine. I'm shit. No, stop doing this stupid stuff like that. Dang it. Dang it. 
I can't. I, I'm. I'm getting hit with a lot of crap now, and this is bad. Get my aggression back up. God dang it, I knew that's what he was gonna do, and for some reason I still kept attacking. Whoa! That's not something I've seen. Oh, and I'm stunned? Come on! the last thing I need right now. Alright, put that on. Get on the ground. Readying a big attack. Get your healing items ready. No! <laughs> I was gonna say, what's going on? I kept trying to hit use a potion and it wasn't letting me. Dang, this guy's got a ton of health. Ah, that's not what I expected. Keep healing me, keep healing me. No, no, no. Oh. Just a good job, guys. Not a great job. Oh, we did it! Oh, yes! Well, wow, you did it! We need to report to the guild immediately. Oh, we did it! Solo! Oh, it feels so good. So, the entire trick was just to freaking use more elemental... Uh, all I had to do, all I had to do was instead of going with kind of okay element, just pump my armor full of element. They kept saying, 
Elemental attacks. Bring your elemental attacks. We're going to give you a bunch of jewels to increase your elemental attack. Use elemental attacks. And what do I do? I'm like, eh, I'll kind of increase my element. I'm sure it'll be fine. No! The moment I switched to this, this, like, we had a feint because, you know, it's still a tough fight. But as soon as I changed to this, we were able to win in the first run with it. Like, proof that it wasn't a lack of skill. It wasn't a, like, it, it literally came down to, I wasn't using the right strategy. <laughs> oh, it feels so good. Oh, I can't wait to look at its armor. Oh, and that music. If you don't, if you don't recognize it, this is the victory music from Monster Hunter Try and Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. It's so nostalgic, it's great. So, Elytreon's first introduction into the series was in Monster Hunter Try. And so it's so nice of them to bring back that wonderful victory music for us so that we can remember the times when we fought Elytreon before. Oh, so that was so awesome. That's so much fun. And you know, it's funny because when I went into this, I was like, oh, I don't have a lot of hope. You know, this has been really rough so far. I spent a lot of time trying and it was not going well at all. Like I was making no headway. So I was worried that this was this change in strategy wasn't going to have much effect at all. And it just, it was all the difference. And I was going to say, you know, when when it was going badly, I was going to say, you know, this fight's kind of BS. I don't like what Capcom did here. It complete 180. I actually really like this. And here's why. I know there's a lot of people who are complaining about Elytreon right now. And here's why this was good. Every other monster in the game, everyone prioritizes raw. Everyone always prioritizes just their raw damage. They build their sets for raw damage. So they'll still sometimes use a weapon with element on them, but that's just because it has high raw damage and like better sharpness or something. But they're still always gunning for that raw. And that's why so many people are having trouble with this, clearly. It's because instead of focusing on building a set strictly for element, people are still trying to go in with raw and find a way to win. And you can totally do it. You, you, like, you can't do that. Like, raw won't work. You have to go element. And if anyone's thinking, oh, well, what about hammers and great swords and all that? I was able to get a double stagger on one of those Eschaton Judgments. And the the first stagger isn't that long with this amount of element. So I bet great swords and hammers could still get one stagger pretty easily as long as they built their set for elemental damage. Is it going to be tougher? Yes, but they can do it. This was a fantastic addition by Capcom. They completely scrambled what people are used to, and I think that is good. I think this this was phenomenal. It, it was very stressful the first day. And yes, this is the second day. I had to take a break because I was getting frustrated. But it was very stressful the first day, and it didn't feel like this was like fair. But as soon as I switched, as soon as I said, you know what? I'm just going to try and just pump element as high as I can. I'm going to pick whatever element that has the, the best longsword I can find that has good sharpness, high element, and, and should work. And I'm just going to pump that element, and I'm going to see how it goes. And first run. Yes, we had a single feint, but you know what? Who cares? One feint's not bad. We were able to beat it the first try. Not even a... And it wasn't even a feint from Eschaton Judgment. It was a feint from just getting hit like getting comboed not you know and and on top of that i didn't have my health regen augment on my weapon so i was taking more damage than normal anyway so it's this is totally feasible it's a totally fair hunt and it's a lot of fun you just have to absolutely just pick an element and pump it up as high as you can and go to town it's not that tough to get the first stagger and that first stagger, all you got to do, pop that health booster. That seemed to work. And drink some potions. I bet even without the health booster, as long as you're drinking potions, you probably will be fine. Uh, but I had brought the health booster because I was like, well, let's see how it does when, you know, we're taking constant damage. And it did it did a pretty good job. We still had to use a potion as well, but uh, it, it, it kept us it kept us alive. So um, it's this is totally feasible, totally fair. I think it's a good mix-up. I'm actually, I, I completely have 180'd my opinion on it, which is hilarious. So let's grab our rewards here and we'll go look at the armor and the uh, longsword. And maybe we'll get lucky and get a really cool decoration out of this too. No, we did not. We, we did not. We got trash, but that's fine. 
Oh, we're also gonna have to probably talk to a bunch of people. Because they're gonna be like, holy crap, you took down Elytreon! Ugh, and I maxed out my research level on it. Yay. Well, I guess we'll start with her since she's right here. <sighs> oh, one of the other reasons that I didn't pick um, a different weapon, um, a different care weapon, is because uh, I upgraded the ice and the dragon and the water. Yeah, ice, dragon, and water. And I don't have enough cold materials to upgrade anything else. So I also have the thunder care weapon. Wow, do I actually have all the elements now? I think I have all the elements now, I just don't have all the statuses. Because, yeah, I have I have fire, I have water, I have thunder, I have ice, and I have dragon. Yeah, so I have all the Kiara... Wow, I didn't even realize that happened. Well, that makes me really happy, because I was always worried that I wasn't going to be able to get them, because of how unbelievably rare it is to get what you want from that stupid melding process. But I guess it worked better than I thought it did. But I'm out of uh, Master Rank Call of Taroth materials, so until that comes back around, I won't be able to upgrade any of the Kiara weapons up to the... Uh, master rank so spark uh, the kiara sword spark was out of the out of the question and like i said fire i couldn't get the charm to max uh dragon i couldn't get the charm to max so all i had was water and ice and i ice is the better long sword so i went with that all right so let's talk about the third fleet master here welcome back i've been waiting you were amazing i don't know that well i guess that last run i was pretty amazing the elemental shift the roll of its horns did you see it was it truly an organ for controlling the elements? Hypothetically, the horns allowed it to control the elements, no? Or perhaps the horns were born out of necessity? And what is the source of its elemental power? If not a physical mechanism, is it something beyond the realm of our understanding? I understand you're exhausted, but please come with me. We have much to discuss. We need your thoughts on Alatreon while they're still fresh in your head, Hunter. My thoughts? That was awesome. Fresh thoughts deserve a fresh transcript, no? Oh, to think that if I would have just... To think that if I would have just done what Capcom told us, which was to pump element, we probably could have won on our first run. Man. Oh, well. You live, you live and learn. It's what, it's what happens, you know? It's, uh... It, it if I would have I thought that I had put enough element on there and I still wanted to to make sure that I had a, a set that was built around dealing damage too so um, yeah you know that's a oh well we should we should have listened but no big deal it's a uh, man that was a, that was a fun hunt hurry along now once everything's recorded we shall hold counsel oh, sorry I just I need a moment because that was just I'm like sweating from I, my heart was pumping because the entire hunt, it does so much damage with every hit. I'm just constantly like, don't faint, don't faint, don't faint, don't faint. And just to see now that, like, my first couple of hunts, I think I was performing pretty well, but because I didn't have enough element, there's nothing I could do about Eschaton Judgment. I wish after that first hunt, I would have just been like, okay, let's increase our element. But instead, I was like, no, let me try again, no, let me try again. And uh, I finally just was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to bed. I'll try again tomorrow, and then, you know, I woke up and I was like, let's try and increase element, try something else. And I was going to go with dragon, like I said, and I just couldn't do it, so I was like, all right, if, I, if, I have to, if I'm going to really increase my element, I'm going to go max. We'll go with what we can, which is ice. And, you know, if I would have just done that from the get-go, we probably could have won that on the first try. <sighs> As I mentioned, I don't like having to retreat, but it's what we had to do because uh, our strategy just wasn't in sync the way it needed to be. Oh, feels feels so so good. Okay, I think I'm ready to to, to move this forward. I can't believe you people. Amazing work with Alatreon. It's amazing that our scholars and handlers were able to get everything recorded so quickly. You have the hunters to thank for that. Everyone in the field and at home were running like a well-oiled machine. Hunters? You mean hunter? I did it solo. The unique characteristics of Alatreon, far beyond common knowledge, to be able to observe it to this degree is nothing short of a miracle. 
Considering this was just the first batch of data, it is exquisite. Let's end the chapter here, so to speak, and send this off to the guild. Any objections? Well, I do have a proposal for you, actually, about future investigations. We need to figure out why Alatreon went to the secluded valley in the first place. I swear to God, if it is running from a Fatalis, that will be hilarious. So, for those who don't know, and I know this is going to be a long video now because of the initial attempts and then the final success and then me continually rambling because I'm just so... I'm frustrated and happy at the same time. And I know you understand that because I've said it so many times, but oh man. And so, I, but I, I've got to get this stuff out. So, in the original Monster Hunter... Fatalis was the true final boss. And initially you run in... The first time you he kind of hear about Fatalis is you find out that there's a Lao Shan Lung that is, is, uh, looks like it's attacking the fortress. And it's not attacking. It's a, You find out afterwards it's running. It's trying to get away from something. And it ends up it's running away from a Fatalis. Now, I know a lot of people don't think Fatalis is that difficult of a hunt. Uh, but... Lore-wise, as far as I understand it, Fatalis is at the top of the food chain. Like, everything fears Fatalis. Other Elder Dragons fear Fatalis. So, it wouldn't be out of character for even Alatreon to fear Fatalis, I wouldn't think. I, I That's not to say it wouldn't fight back. Um, unlike Lao, which just runs away, uh, Alatreon might fight back. But, it would be interesting if the reason it's in the secluded valley is because it was running away from a Fatalis. Because I still have hope that they're going to put Fatalis in Iceborne. I really, really hope so. And if they make it a cool hunt like Alatreon was, that'll be just perfect. Why would it go to such a remote place intentionally? Was it just by chance, or did it have a purpose? Another thing it could be, her mentioning that, uh, Elytreon are known, at least in previous games, I believe this was, is what it said, or maybe it was the 15th anniversary information, but they're known for seeking seclusion. They don't like to be disturbed. So it might have just gone there because it wanted to be secluded, because that's what they do. That's right. The secluded valley is also home to that red monster. I find it hard to believe that it went to pick a fight. There's got to be a reason. I kind of wish it went to pick a fight, because I'm pretty certain Alatreon would beat the living daylights out of Safi Jiva. No offense to Safi Jiva, but the Alatreon hunt is much more difficult. Right. Which is why I think we should look into the connection between Alatreon and that red monster. Why do you still keep calling... Oh. Okay, so just a note. Um... You, the only things you have to have done to fight Alatreon are have uh, reached Master Rank 24, I believe it is, and have done the Safi Jiva Recon, which at that time they still just call it the Unknown Monster because it's not until um, the actual siege itself that they give it a name, I believe. So that's why they're still calling it that Red Monster instead of Safi Jiva. And let the guild know we're going to continue investigating. Of course, it may be a long while before we uncover anything. Hmm. Okay, your idea sounds good. Get everything ready. Way ahead of you. I'm almost finished. Then I shall take the responsibility of reporting to the guild. I'll let them know of both our findings and future plans. Understood. Thank you. Ah, that leaves one more thing left unattended. I hope we were able to get rid of that annoying fear of the unknown. Yes, but there's still much we've yet to uncover. We're just getting started. The path is long, but we'll get there. You're right about that. Now let's wrap things up, people. Again, fantastic work. Rest up today. You earned it. Dismissed. Okay. Tutorial. Elytreon quest availability. Elytreon's quest will be available as a limited time only event quest. Aww, why? Ugh, fine, whatever. Uh, for the duration, the event quest alternates every day between fire or ice as the active element for Elytreon at the start of the quest. Ooh, interesting. The title and description of the day's event quest provide a hint to which element is active, so keep this in mind when preparing for the hunt. 
Note, the Alatreon quest will only be available for limited periods of time. System messages will alert you whenever it is available. So it's probably be in rotation with Safi Jiva and Kol Teroth. Ooh, we got an Alatreon shard as a pennant. Okay, I have another appointment that I have to take care of. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and just leave. Like, there's going to be a cut here because I'm going to, like, walk away. And I'm not going to just let it sit here as a video. Um, so there will be a shortcut here. And then we'll go ahead and talk to everyone. And then we'll check out the armor, the weapon, and that pennant. So I will talk to you all in just a moment. Okay, I'm back, everyone. So we can go ahead and start talking to all of the people that uh, have dialogue for us. So we'll start with the field team leader, who I guess is the commander of Celiana, so I don't know why they didn't change his name. Hmm. You know, Hunter, I've been thinking about what your handler said. Why did Elatreon go to the secluded valley? It's really bugging me. Because of instinct? Did it decide to take over while we dealt with that other monster? No, that can't be it. How could it know we would interfere? Can you imagine if those two were to square off? I'm guessing the end result would would not have been pretty. And I don't even want to imagine us getting stuck in the middle of that. Anyway, our investigations are far from over. But for now, let's take it easy. Especially you. You deserve a rest after the hard work you put into that assignment. Me? Take a break? That's crazy talk. Hey. Welcome back, Hunter. Nice work with Elytreon. The guild's response to our findings is going to be interesting. I wonder how I wonder how they'll take it. People fear the unknown more than anything, and sometimes that fear clouds their judgment. But knowledge is the light that shows us the path. Not everyone's going to understand our findings, and that's fine so long as they accept it. The work you've put into this assignment with everyone is going to expel a lot of people's fears. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, I mean, now that they know that a hunter immediately took it down, I think people will have less fear. Amazing work with the Elytreon, Pard. We were able to verify that it is able to use all of the elements freely, and I think that sets us up for future investigations as, uh, well, I think that sets us up for future investigations well. You know, I gotta say, they say that it can use all the elements, but the water that it was spewing out seemed like oil because it would light on fire. So unless I missed, saw something... Unless I missed, saw something, um... Sorry, I got distracted because my cat tried to jump on my display case and then knocked my mouse off the table. It's a mess. Unless I missaw something, though, the water was actually oil because it lit on fire. So I don't know, but it's just weird. You know, Pard, I've been thinking about something. I was thinking, can we coexist with monsters? I mean, we do coexist with monsters. What's with that face? Why is she so angry? Sadly, I've come to the conclusion that I don't think we'll ever get along with monsters, much less Elder Dragons. I think that if we can find a way to fully understand how they behave and we keep our distance, maybe it's possible. But with Alatreon, do you think that a monster like that can live in the same world as us, without interfering with our way of life? I think we had our answer as soon as we confronted it. So in a way, I totally get why some people wouldn't want to accept Alatreon's existence. Well, I mean, yeah, things are aggressive sometimes. Um, let's head over to Astera real quick before we look at the armor, just to see if anyone over there has anything to say to us. We'll check out the research base, too. Nothing here. I'm going to assume there's nothing in the research base, but we'll check anyway. Okay. Cool. So that just means we get to head to Celiana and check out the armor, weapons, and pendant. I don't know if we'll be able to make literally any of it. Um, we don't have a ton of materials yet, but, uh, we can still check it out. So let's start with the pennant. Where's the 
Where is this weapon? Okay. You know what? I'll show off the other new pendants that I've gotten, too. Uh, so here's the Elytreon shard. Okay, so it's just another one of the shards. But it's purplish. I mean, that's cool enough. Um... You know, I like I like these these shard ones, but it doesn't really look like a piece of Alatreon to me. So I don't know. Uh, but what else do we have that's new? Okay, so gold heavenly dragon. Ooh, that's really. Ooh, I like that a lot actually. The fact that it spins and stuff. Ooh, that's really cool. Okay, so there's that. The silver heavenly dragon, which is also very cool. Uh, Phantom Azure Butterflies. Phantom Jade Butterflies. Phantom Magenta Butterflies. The Ruby Crystal Knife. Amber Crystal Knife. Azure Crystal Knife. Fulgur Bugs. And the Dracophage Bugs. So there's all that. Um, we'll go back to the Alatreon one for now, just because that's what we just unlocked. Okay. Alright, so next let's check out the weapon. What's up, making? Long sword first. The Dark Claw. So that's what it looks like. Um, it's the old school design of the Al uh, Alatreon longsword. I'm not a huge fan of it just because I'm not a big fan of scythes. But uh, it's still pretty cool, and when you draw it, it will uh, unsheath. It's got a level 4 slot and a level 3 slot on it. No, it's not. That's Light Break Edge. What am I thinking? It's got a level 2 slot on it, and I can actually make it if I want to. I have a lot more parts than I thought. Um, 825 Raw, 0 Affinity, 510 Dragon, low Elder Seal, level 2 slot. Uh, a ton of purple sharpness. I'm betting it has... It's only a rarity 11, so it's going to have an upgrade. Um, so let's see what the upgrade stats look like. All we have to do is pick something that can be upgraded that's not a Kiara weapon. Okay. Oh, that's Guild Palace. Elytreon. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so it jumps up to 924 raw. Holy crap, look at that purple! 924 raw, so that's not bad for raw. Uh, when you figure something like this, Stygian Gula only has, what, 891 or something like that? Um, what's Stygian Gula got? Yeah, 891, so it's it's 924 raw versus Stygian Gula, which has 891. So it's already higher raw than another elemental weapon. But the dragon is 660, like this completely outclasses the Stygian Gula in every way possible. Like, you, the only thing that the Stygian Gula has is higher Elder Seal, and who cares? Um, Elder Seal does almost nothing, honestly. It makes me a little sad. I don't know why they even put it in the game at this point. Um, I liked it in Base World, but in Iceborne, it, it it doesn't do enough. Like, you can knock the aura off of uh, Kushala Daora, and he'll just put it back up immediately. Same with Teostra and Lunastra. So, like, no one really uses Elder Seal. And then on top of that, with Teostra and Lunastra, it makes more sense to use Ice and Water as opposed to Dragon. So, the only monster you really use Dragon for is potentially Kushala Daora. And even then, it, the Elder Seal does almost nothing. So, I thought Elder Seal was cool before. It's kind of worthless, which is too bad. So, having it, Elder Seal be low, like, oh well. Um... If you have high Elder Seal on a weapon, yes, it can be useful at times. I will admit that. It can be nice. Um, it is nice to knock the aura off of a monster or off of an Elder Dragon, but the only time you get that is if you're using high Elder Seal. If you use medium or low, you'll basically never see it uh, actually activate. So, again, eh. But the Dragon element is great. So, you know, this having low Elder Seal instead of medium, who cares? But having 660 over 300, it's more than double the Dragon Element, and it's got higher raw, and it's got better sharpness. So this is an insanely powerful weapon. Uh, I, I really like that, and it gets an extra level 2 slot, so that's kind of nice. Um, so yeah, this is actually a really, really good Dragon weapon. So let's think about comparing it to the, the Safi weapon. So it's got a little bit lower raw, because Safi's at 990, this is at 924. It's got better sh purple sharpness. Like, you don't even ha need handicraft with this. It's got so much purple. Like, who cares? It's got 5% less affinity. Okay, that's fine. 
Um, it has 660 dragon versus what, 180? So that's a difference of 580? Like 580, no, 480, I'm sorry. 480 more element, that's insane. Now it does only have two level twos as opposed to a level four slot, but still, like, I could see using this over the, uh, oh, and the Safi weapon has medium Elder Seal, whereas this has a low. Uh, so Safi wins in raw, loses in sharpness, wins in infinity, loses in element, wins in Elder Seal. I'd say they tie for slots. Um, so yeah, they're kind of comparable. I don't know which one I would use. Probably, I'd probably still end up using the Dark Claw Demise just because the element is so much higher that it would probably offset the, um, the attack a bit. Like, the, having elements so much higher will probably offset having the lower attack. Now, having the lower affinity is unfortunate, but, you know, it's whatever. And like I said, the Elder Seal is negligible. So, whatever. But that's a, that's a cool weapon. Um, it's, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of how it looks, but it is a good weapon. And it would be really, really good for fighting Alatreon itself. So I'm probably going to make this and test it out against it. Because Dragon is always usable against Alatreon. Whereas the, um, if you're going Ice or Fire... Um, ice isn't is worthless when it's in ice form, and fire would be worthless when it's in fire form. But dragon is always useful, even when it's in dragon form. Dragon's still useful. So uh, this would actually be really, really good for fighting Alatreon because it's got higher element than even the Kiar weapons. The only thing you lose is the the uh, crit element, but I think the increase in the actual element itself probably makes up for it. Uh, let me do some math here and find out. It, I, I, this won't be perfect math because I'm not finding out exactly... Well, I guess I could try and figure this out. So, okay. So it's got 660, right? So if we had full dragon, it would increase by 20%. Plus an extra 100. Plus Safi gives us another 150. So we'd be sitting at 1,042 element. Um, and that's that's what it's doing. It's doing 1,042, right? So the Kiara Sword stream that we were using had 900. When you times that by 1.2, you get 1,080. So the uh, the Kiara Sword stream would be uh, a whole 38 element higher, which is 3.8, because you divide by 10 to get the actual true element. So um, 3.8 element points higher on the, the Sword stream because of the crit element. So this would still totally work, and this has higher raw and better sharpness, which means it's probably still going to completely out-damage the um, Kiara Sword stream. So we're probably going to end up making the weapon, because I know I don't have enough parts for the armor, but the weapon will help me get parts for the armor. So we probably will make that. But let's look at the armor next before I make that judgment call. All right, where are you? All right, Elytreon Alpha. So that's what the alpha looks like, which is pretty sick. I, I definitely remember this armor from uh, uh, from Try, and it, I believe it was in Four Ultimate as well. But you had to the Alatreon itself wasn't. You had to trade for the parts. But yes, this this armor looks so cool. I really like this. So what's the beta look like? Ooh, okay, okay. Um, hmm. Man, this really reminds me of the Ur Dragon from Dragon's Dogma. I think I like the helmet on the Alpha better, but I like the rest of Beta better. I like that longer coat that the Beta has, and the shoulders, they don't jut out as much, but I think the spikes look better. Um, they look less like a tortoise and more just like Elytreon's chest spikes. But that helmet, I'm not a huge fan of on the beta. But, I mean, we know we're going to use the beta because you always use the beta because of slots. But um, I, I think most most of the beta I do like better. Uh, it's just the helmet that I don't. So that's cool. That I could see mixing these. Hopefully we get them layered when the Master, uh, Master Rank Armor... Master rank layered armor comes out. Hopefully this is something that's included so that I can mix and match uh, the pieces to make it look the way I want. Um, but yeah, man, th uh, both sets look good. This is a situation where I can't really complain. Um, 
I know that, you know, there's a lot of sets that I really want to like the bit. I, I really want to like them, but the beta just doesn't look as good as the alpha. This is a situation where they both look good. I like them both. They're great. Uh, all right, so let's start looking at stats. I'm going to leave that layered for now. All right, so we'll start with the alpha. So the helmet gives resentment and critical eye with a level three slot and a level one slot. Oh. <gasps> ooh, 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 yay. Okay, we'll talk about the set bonus after, and I just realized something really cool. I'm sorry about that noise, but uh, this makes me really, really happy. Um, they did this the way they should have, and uh, I'm going to be able to have exactly what I want. And I, 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 oh, I'm excited. Okay, so right, so resentment level three and critical eye level two on the helmet. That's like, that's pretty good. Uh, level three slot and level one slot. The body gives health boost level three and resentment level two with a level two slot, a level one slot, and a level one slot. That's awesome. Health boost, just you got the full health boost. Boom, done. Okay, cool. Ooh, those tails are gonna be a pain. Cutting its tail is tough. Not looking forward to that. But I guess if I don't have to focus on the horns because I'm using dragon element, it might be easier to do. I'll figure it out. And hopefully I can get it without cutting it. Maybe it can still get it as a reward. This is rare, who knows. Uh, all right, so hands give attack boost level three and power prolonger level three with a level three slot and a level one slot. If the beta completely drops power prolonger, that's okay. Power prolonger is not the most useful skill in the world. I don't mind really you losing that, but attack boost level three, that's pretty good because then you just pop an attack gem into that level one slot and you now have 5% affinity and like 10 raw, so that's pretty good. The waste gives attack boost level four and dragon resistance three. Holy crap! Look, I know this isn't a meta set. I know that. But it's not a bad set. <laughs> I'm liking this. Uh, so level 3 slot, level 1 slot, attack boost 4, dragon resistance 3. And the legs have 3 level 2 slots. That's interesting. Uh, it gives defense boost level 3 and dragon attack level 4. So the boots are probably a piece that we won't really be using. Alright, so let's look at the beta. So you lose a level of critical eye. I, wish you, I really wish it would have been a level of... Uh, resentment, but it's not so bad because that level three slot becomes a level four slot, so you can just drop expert, an expert plus gem in there, and you get two levels of critical eye. So not so bad. Uh, I'm liking that. All right, so the body. Ooh, okay. So this is not, this is nice. You lose a level of resentment, which isn't so bad. It pops that level two to a level four slot, and you still get health boost level three. I can see this being a pretty meta uh, body piece. That's that's really good. That's really, really good. All right, the hands. Completely drops power per longer like I thought. Um, that level one slot becomes a level four slot, so that's a pretty good jump there. Um, that's not so bad. So you keep the attack boost level three. The waist drops a level of attack boost. That's not so bad. Pops that level four to a level, or that level three to a level four slot. Uh, you keep the dragon resistance, so that's nice. Uh, especially since I'm assuming this, oh, this armor this armor has no negative element. This armor has no negative element. Wow. Okay, cool. So the Eskadar armor will make it so that you have no weakness to element. That's pretty great. Again, I know it's not meta, but for survivability, this set is looking pretty good. Uh, and then the feet... Um, Two of your level two slots. Okay, never mind. You might use these feet. Two of those level two slots become level four slots. Uh, and then you also have that less level two slot. And you keep the defense boost level three. Um, dragon attack, while it could have been nice to keep some of it, um, you, you'd only use it with dragon weapons. And I could see myself using this set with a lot of stuff. So dropping dragon attack's not so bad. So let's look at that uh, delicious set bonuses. So... Alatreon Divinity with two pieces. Uh, element Conversion. Equipped weapons, elemental power increases as your armor's elemental resistance increases. And that's across all elemental resistances. So the more element elemental resistance you have, the more the element on your weapon will go up. And you only need to wear two pieces for it. So, yeah, that's not bad. Um, I can see that being extremely helpful. Alatreon Divinity. Increases all elemental resistances... By 20%. Okay, so that's a problem. This is where that's going to be a problem. So you, this gets no water or thunder resistance, which means that water and thunder will... Oh, I'm sorry. will stay at zero. Um, 
Dragon will get to 10, so that's only going to go up to 12. Uh, and Ice and Fire will be at 15. So those go up by, like, those will go up to, like, 18. So that this one's not so useful. I could see using two pieces. I'll probably still end up using three pieces, because what I'd probably do is use three pieces of the Escadora. Uh, which is the name of the armor, I'm sorry. I know it just says Alatram Beta, but the armor is actually called Escadora. But I would see myself using three pieces of the Escadora and then two pieces of Raging Bracky to have um, the, the two set bonuses for Alatreon as well as Agitator Secret. That could be an epic armor set. Um, so I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to make the longsword here so that I have a new awesome weapon to fight Alatreon with. And then I'm gonna upgrade it, assuming that I can. I think I can, I think I have, I think I have enough stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Don't need to watch the animation. So we'll create it, I'm gonna equip it, yay. And then uh, we're gonna upgrade it. do it. Oof. I love that. You cannot roll back this upgrade once it's done. That's fine. I somehow ended up with two Azure Dragon Sapphires. I carved one. I got one as a bonus reward at one point. Don't know how that happened, but it was hilarious because I was like, oh, well, I guess that's nice. Okay, so this will allow me to fight Elytraeon probably, probably pretty well now. I'm not going to say it's going to be easy because it's still a tough fight, but it, it'll probably work out pretty well and it looks awesome. Let's uh, check it out with some of our poses here. So what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and I, I'm not going to add anything else to this video. I'll just show it off in the next video once I'm done actually getting the stuff for it. But, um, oh, that does look kind of nice. It doesn't make any sense because it's a scythe, but whatever, I don't care. So what I'll do is I'm going to farm Elytraeon. Get enough stuff to make its armor and then i'm gonna make a set using it and we we'll probably won't wear all five pieces because it doesn't really make much sense to wear all five pieces it's probably going to be three pieces of alatreon and two pieces of uh brachydeum so escador and brachydeum so raging brachy and Al alatreon i'm sorry i keep switching each of them back and forth but uh that's probably the set i'll make and i'll see what i can do with it and we'll test that out and i'll probably use it for a while because i like how it looks uh, again, I know it's not going to be meta, but as always, I don't really care about the meta. I just do what I think is fun and looks cool. So thank you so much for watching. This was a lot of fun. I know that um, the early runs were frustrating for me, but I think it was important to see how difficult it can be if you don't listen and use the strategy that, you know, is meant to be used. Um, is it a little irritating that there's a specific strategy you have to use, yes, but I don't know what where that line is drawn. I definitely went overboard with the elemental damage. I may not have needed as much as I used, um, but the fact that I did it made the, the hunt completely fair. And so I think it was very cool. I think it was kind of a, a breath of fresh air to have the strategy shaken up so much. Um, yeah, I mean, it just, I, overall, it was a good experience and as I said, I never like losing, but you just gotta brush yourself off and get back up. You just have to get back out there. You know, it sucks to have to retreat, but you know, live to fight another day. And that's what's important. So thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. You can also subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell icon. And you'll get email updates when I upload new videos. And of course you can leave any comments or suggestions in the area below the video. However, that is all I have for you today. So thank you so much for watching. And as usual, this is Zephyr, signing out.